Good morning, everyone. April the 17th. I am very aware that this, if my calculations are correct, is something like day 22 of the lockdown. When the lockdown was first announced, today was the day we would have been back at work, presumably carrying on as normal, but not to be. Lockdown extended to the end of this month. And we hope some form of partial easing of the lockdown thereafter. But as I sat and thought about this, it occurred to me that for many people, this is a deeply anxious time. They are feeling scared and fearful. They feel as if they are not in control of their lives. This incredible virus that is doing the rounds throughout the world, probably not a single nation in the entire world not affected in some way or the other. We are well aware that many people will die simply because of the large numbers of people who will be infected. And this may induce even more fear and anxiety in our lives, especially for those who are elderly or have some underlying health condition. And I'd like to say that any feelings of anxiety, beginnings of depression, irritability, etc., on the one hand is perfectly normal. A traumatic event and this virus and the death rate that will occur as a result is enough to make anyone anxious, is traumatic. So the feelings that you're feeling are normal, but there is a way that we can help ourselves and cope. And of course, as I have been sharing for all of these days now, Maintaining your faith in the Lord, maintaining a routine of prayer and reading scripture is of vital importance. But so are other routines. It could be getting up at the same time every day. Don't simply lie in. Have your breakfast at the same time, lunch, supper at the same time. Develop routines and activities. Get out into the garden if you're fortunate to have a garden. Do some work. Try and get exercise. We're not allowed out of our properties, but do something in the house. Also maintain your relationship with those around you. Phone, family and friends. Talk to those that are in the house with you. If you're on your own, that's a diff tough one. Talk to the people around you. Be nice to them, because if you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you. Know that you can phone your clergy and talk to them and share any of the concerns you have. It is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of being a human being. So we're all feeling these feelings of anxiety. Dear friends, hang in there, for this will pass. It will come to an end, and we can be stronger as a result, or we can collapse in a puddle. It's up to us. But know that we're all feeling this together. And my prayers are for you, my love and my gratitude for your faith and your courage at this time. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.